Coulter Williams. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I do want to commend the previous speaker on her eloquence. Uh, was a um, very um, important to hear the messages that are coming from our Māori community about uh, smoking. And I must acknowledge um, the work of the previous co-leader because she has been strident and strong and passionate in her um, in ensuring that uh, we get to smoke-free Aotearoa 2025 because smoking is, there is no doubt, it is definitely um, something that we should uh, seek to be eliminating out of our communities. This bill, Mr Speaker, I had the pleasure of sitting on the, on the select committee, ably chaired by um, Dr Paul Hutchison when we were examining um, this bill, and it seeks to do a couple of things. It really seeks to reduce the appeal of tobacco, in particular for our young people, but it also seeks to um, reduce the social acceptance of tobacco products and increase the noticeability of um, those messages, those health warnings that we need to get out into the public arena and keep reinforcing, because there's no doubt that uh, this measure alone will not affect the change that we want for smoke-free Aotearoa 2025. But it is part of a range of measures uh, that have started, uh, that started with the Smoke-Free smoke Environments Act, uh, when we looked at uh, ensuring that our workplaces were smoke-free, that our places of gathering, such as um, restaurants and bars, were smoke-free. So those places where we could uh, suffer sig significant second-hand smoke harm uh, were eliminated or reduced as far as possible. And it's important to note that the emphasis on this is around ensuring that young people not only do, do we um, uh, minimise the number of young people starting, but that actually we target them as a group that should not start at all. Because there is no doubt that once you have started smoking, Mr Speaker, it is very difficult to give up. So if we can do make our best efforts to ensure that we stop people from smoking in the, in the first place, uh, that is the, um, the best way to go. But our young people in particular need to uh, be encouraged uh, not to take up smoking um, in the first place. Um, there are, the bill will look at the penalties that are currently in place and look to increase uh, the penalties for non-compliance and also the penalties that are current, uh, for current um, offences will be increased as well. But this also looks, Mr Speaker, at um, ensuring that the copyright, the property rights uh, issues that the tobacco companies raise during the submissions are, um, are held, um, uh, are con continued so that the, the uh, tobacco companies can still have their logos on their tobacco uh, products, but the, the idea that they will be standard across all products, so all tobacco companies will have the same uh, will have a, um, the criteria for their logos on packaging is determined by this legislation. So that in terms of percentage or proportion to the, the packaging itself, the um, logos for the tobacco companies will be reduced. The packaging itself, uh, Mr Speaker, and, and that's one of the um, issues that is uh, raised by the report that came back from the Select Committee, is not plain. The packaging is not plain, it is standardised. And what will be included on the packaging are health messages. Um, the colour of the packaging uh, will be used as a deterrent, and so will the images and the messages on the packaging. What, this, what the bill attempts to do is standardise that across the range of tobacco pro products and companies producing those products. So the, um, the recommendation by the committee is to change uh, the, the title of the bill from tobacco plain packaging to tobacco standardised packaging, uh, Mr Speaker. I want to talk about the Australian evidence. Uh, the Health Select Committee did hear from uh, the Australian um, <laughs> government, the Australian Parliament, and um, uh, one of the, the the things that we heard from the Australians was that uh, 
that the rates of smoking, daily rates of smoking for people aged 14 and over declined from 15.1% in 2010 to 12.8% in 2013. Now, while it was uh, too early to say that that was a direct relation, uh, a direct correlation to the introduction of plain packaging, it was certainly something to be celebrated um, and also out of line with the messaging that we had heard from tobacco companies that when plain packaging is introduced, smoking rates actually go up. So it was an indication that uh, in terms of, even though it was early days in their um, plain packaging regime, that there was some hope that that could add, uh, uh, add to the whole continuum of looking to reduce smoking in our communities. I also want to comment on um, the fact that, uh, as a select committee, we encourage the use of the vernacular. Uh, we encourage the, the terminology "quit smoking," um, and uh, because "quit" is a is a word that is uh, synonymous with giving up smoking, and with the programs that are associated with um, with uh, giving up smoking, such as "quit line." And I, I think I want to um, uh, credit myself for insisting that we used quit line. I want to acknowledge uh, the work of all of those quit coaches out there in New Zealand, um, and particularly I want to note my sister Tokero Williams, who um, uh, taught me a lot about uh, the work that she did as a quit coach for a Māori provider, health provider. Um, and uh, using the terminology that is of the day and um, and is in uh, popular use, uh, I know is unusual in legislation, but I think in this case it actually adds to the ability for us to get those messages out into the community. I also want to comment on uh, the fact that we ensured that there is a cultural reference within the bill uh, when we look at the acceptance of uh, smoking in our communities, that we must do what we can to ensure that there is a cultural element within the work that we do with regards to quit smoking, because there is no doubt that there are, um, that there are uh, populations, that there are groups who are more susceptible to the messaging from our tobacco companies. And it is um, it's a, a shame that our young Māori women in particular um, have taken up the, um, uh, taken up the rate, smoking in rates that um, uh, are the highest amongst our population. So it's important that we do what we can to ensure that we address those cultural aspects. Um, the, um, I want to... Uh, go back to the, the notion of the, the way the packaging will look, because we heard from many of the submitters, there were many Māori providers of quit smoking um, uh, services, there were some Pacific providers uh, of quit smoking services, and they talked about having grown up in homes uh, where um, the red packet for a particular brand of smoking, or the blue packet, or the green packet, very prominent within our homes. And they uh, talked about how uh, that kind of subtle uh, reminder day after day after day of, uh, of smoking um, really influenced their decisions about whether they took up smoking or not. And I can recall when we did have uh, smoking advertising a lot more prevalent in our media, um, just how cool it looked to have a, a cigarette in your... Um, so those images, it's, it's, it's important to ensure that we do what we can to reduce those images and make it as uncool as possible. I do want to um, say that when I was a, I, I should out myself and say that I was a smoker, I was a smoker for 20 years and then I started at a very young age and one of the things that we in, have ensured in this uh, bill is that we restrict the size of um, and the number of cigarettes that we, that we sell because in my day the, the local dairy used to sell cigarettes singly and I'm, I'm really pleased to see that this bill will look to eliminate those small pack sizes. Um, Mr Speaker, because that really just encourages young people to continue smoking if it's easy to access uh, the, the cigarettes. Um, lastly, I just want to comment on the transitional uh, provisions. Uh, we've 
felt on the select committee that um, six weeks for distributors and 12 weeks for uh, retailers was sufficient enough time for them to, uh, to look at um, the reduction of, of old stock that had uh, that do doesn't conform to the uh, plain packaging, Mr Speaker, and uh, we didn't buy the arguments that the Retailers Association said that they would have lots of the old stock on hand. Um, in conclusion, it's a, a good bill. I think uh, the Select Committee did a, a, a good job on um, addressing a lot of the key issues, and I commend it to the House. Mr Speaker. Dr 